So you're looking for five tips to instantly accelerate your performance in Apex Legends. And maybe right now season four hasn't been going your way. Maybe you're new. Maybe you literally have just started playing Apex Legends for the first time and you want to know some things that can get your game to the next level. Stop losing these 1v1s. Stop embarrassing yourself and your friend groups. Well, I've got the video for you. My name is Randy and today I'm going to walk you through a cool tip video that is unlike any tip video you're probably going to see around Apex Legends because I make a lot of them, but I also uh, have a unique experience as being an athlete uh, in my life. And, and you can see some of these photos here. I used to be doing that when i think of competition i think of these two things playing and scoring goals working on my body working to be a better player uh in a physical sense but that applies so much to what we do with apex legends and in gaming people think your your body isn't gaming it is and so we're going to want work on five tips that you can do right now to instantly improve that have nothing to do with okay let me get my sensitivity right let me get my mechanical aim practice and do kovacs 100 hours a day it's just not for everybody, but there are things you can do now to start taking care of yourself, to start learning some habits and some things that will actually make you feel better and actually play better in your games today and tomorrow and for the rest of your life while you're playing Apex Legends. All right, let's get into it. Uh, it's really cool. First thing and first tip that a lot of people don't do that you can instantly do to accelerate your performance is tape. Now, when, when you're an athlete, you go out on the road, you're, you're maybe, you know, I played at UCLA, so we would go, let's play Oregon in the Pac-12, and we'd stay the night in Oregon. And what we would do on that day before we played, we would go and we would practice, then we'd go back to the hotel room and we'd have a tape session. Now, tape is so vital as an athlete because it allows you to not only scout what the enemy team is doing, but look at what you have done in past games and perfect those things that went right and went wrong. There are times I'd be called out for a play, not hustling back, losing a ball, et cetera, et cetera. There'd be times where we're, you know, doing a great thing and we scored a goal and say, we got to do more of that. And we'd look at what the enemy's strengths were and we would find those answers to allow us ourselves to get ready for tomorrow's game. Now, most people don't do that, but every single athlete, every single sport does this and it helps you to prepare for the situation you're going into. So if you start doing that in Apex Legends, I believe you will see a market improvement with your games. And as a YouTuber, I get the courtesy of doing that no matter what, and I find it very valuable. I record my own footage, and that's what you should do too. So I download anybody who's literally looking to get better. What I'll do sometimes is use OBS. I'll put it in the link in uh, the description down there, down there in the comment section right there, where you guys leave a like, and you know, I'll do all that cool stuff, subscribe. Uh, and you guys can start downloading your footage for free onto your computer. I'd suggest after your gaming session or after a bad kill, just go back and look at it. Just look at it, check it out, um, and, and honestly, just get a little bit better every single time knowing what you did wrong. Finding those little moments on tape that you could have improved, seeing, oh, you know, I thought I got destroyed, but I actually got shot by two people. So I didn't actually lose that 1v1 the way I thought. Could really help you to engage in your next fights the right way and to have a better understanding of what's working and what's not working. This is a tip that I think most people don't use that you could instantly start doing and it will accelerate your game. After a week, you'll have picked up on things you never picked up on if you hadn't had the chance to go back and verify it on tape. All right, so download OBS, get started on that. Number two visualization now as a kid i used to do visualization all the time when you talk about you as a kid you probably spent time at playing basketball or something counting down the finals uh, the 90th minute in, in football or soccer or maybe three two one on the 24 second clock uh for basketball hitting that game winning shot what you're really doing there is you're visualizing a situation that can help your body to be prepared for it the next time you go into it. And this is a huge uh, thing that athletes do. You don't just train your body, you train your mind. Because when you're tired, when you get into a penalty kick situation, or you get into a, a situation where everything is on the line, your body is not there, your mind has to be strong enough to carry through. And that is what visualization can do and what people don't necessarily do in Apex Legends. Think about this. When you go into a fight, do you have an idea of what you want to do? Or are you just reacting? Are you just experiencing the fight? Uh, a guy comes here, you try to shoot him. A guy shooting at you, you run away. I think most people actually play Apex Legends that way. But what if you literally went into that drop before in your mind? You started saying, okay, I land sorting. I go through this door. All right, I make a right. There's a loot pile there. I go straight. What if someone's shooting at me? Then I run up the stairs. If he's there, do I hold corner? If I do, how do I hold it? What do I look like? What does my crosshair look like? Does he step in? Do I start peeking outside? If he does run away and I get enough damage on his body, how do I progress? 
Do I use a Pathfinder grapple, jump in, slide in, finish the kill? And now do I try to armor swap or do I run away? If you can run through those scenarios and you do it enough before you play, even two minutes, three minutes, five minutes a day, you will start having all those experiences actually saved up in your mind so that your brain doesn't actually distinguish between whether it's real, you did it, or you actually thought it. There's a cool study in Stanford we always talk about that said we gave 50 people. I used to quote this in a business of mine that did visualization. We gave 50 people a chance to shoot 10 free throws or practice 100 free throws. Okay, they made 50% of them. They physically shot them. Uh, we also allow people to sit on the bleachers and imagine in their mind uh, shooting 100 free throws. Okay, now they didn't actually shoot. Uh, the guys over there, you know, who were doing the actual shooting. They shot the free throws. They ended up at about 50%. Then they did a test run of 10 free throws, okay? So the people who had practiced, they got about 50%. Uh, the people who had visualized and hadn't shot at all, they did the test free throws, they got 50%. So it didn't even matter whether you did it or didn't do it, you got the same amount. But what's interesting is that the people who had not only practiced but also visualized, they got the highest percentage of making their free throws over any of the groups, which means that if you combine these two things, it's very, very powerful. And that's how a lot of people uh, have made significant changes in their life by not only visualizing what they want, but then putting the practice in to do it by playing some games. If you combine those two things, you will be in a phenomenal position uh, to be a better player and accelerate your game in Apex Legends. Uh, now, let's look at the third most important thing. Uh, wh what I would say is uh, taking care of your body is probably one of the most important things in life and especially in gaming. I mean, what makes you think that you can stay up late, drink, whether it's uh, adult beverages or whether it's soda or or huge caffeinated, caffeinated drinks, uh, drink no water, eat pizza all day and then perform at your best? What makes you think that's realistic? That doesn't happen in real life. You can't have a crazy night partying out or eat this horrible thing and then wake up the next day and feel great. So why would you expect to do that all day long while you're gaming and feel great and perform at your best? You shouldn't. So some things that you can start doing to instantly improve and accelerate your game is to start eating healthier. Start moving your body more throughout a gaming session. Say you start getting bad and frustrated with all those moments, games go bad, bad, bad. Get up, walk around the block, come back 10 minutes later, your body will, stop, will feel a lot better. Stand up every hour, drink more water, take a cup of water for every cup of coffee that you have or every adult beverage that you have so you stay hydrated. When you're literally depriving your body of the things it needs, there's no way it can perform. And if you constantly give it good stuff, it will actually perform better than you have ever seen it perform as well. I drink a gallon of water, I try to, uh, I'm not always as good at it as I should be, but these are great tips if you guys wanna improve and just look at your physical health. Most people totally forget about physical health. They think the game exists in this digital world, it doesn't. And so this is a big tip if you want to accelerate your gameplay, guys. I, I honestly, I cannot stress this enough. Uh, there's a study that came out the other day um, and that we've been teaching as well. My dad works for a, a lot of um, a, a company called Thrive that basically teaches a lot of this stuff about how bad sleep deprivation can deter your actual performance. And it's, it's known that if you don't sleep for a few days, get your normal recommend, maybe eight hours of sleep, you essentially are operating as if you're drunk driving your brain is. It's amazing how powerful sleep can be. And when you are sleep deprived, the level of function that you're losing on the potential of what your brain can do. And that is all how you're building these dendritic connections, which are the, the synapses that go from one area of your brain to say your muscle to say, move it here when I'm shooting or trying to flick to the right. And you keep doing that and it becomes a habit. So you don't have to think about it, but those dendritic connections need the help of your brain to be feeling as good as possible to keep moving that going. Uh, keep moving that and keeping it going so you can keep building those stronger and stronger. All right, guys, so that's a huge one. Uh, now, let's move on to number four to accelerate your game. This is a big one that most people don't do, and I think this is something that we kind of do if you're a big fan. But remember, only like 0.001% of people are uh, really, in terms of the entirety of people who play Apex Legends in the world, the 50 million, 60 million, are actually on Twitch constantly. But I would say idolize and study your peers and uh, your idols. And so idolize is the wrong word. I meant really study your peers, study your idols, and find things that you value and can watch from people who are above you and are at your same level. Let me tell you why. Uh, people who are above you, this could be streamers like, uh, you know, Ace or something like that, Dizzy. Uh, you can look at uh, this if you guys like players like that, maybe a little bit more in the morning. Uh, these types of players you can look at and say, these are behaviors I can't quite do. 
but I love watching them do it. And you can start to understand where you're going. You need a roadmap of where you need to be once you're the best player possible. Now, you also need to look at where people are at your level because it's 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 gonna do yourself a disservice to compare yourself to, uh, you know, LeBron James if you're 13 years old and just starting to play basketball. You need to look at the people around you and say, what are they doing? What problems am I having? As a young kid, when I was playing soccer, I would play, uh, I would watch Ronaldinho, I'd watch Thierry Henry, I would watch uh, Lionel Messi, and then I would have these these tapes, these visualizations of these moves I'd try to do. And maybe I'd do one every six, six games, but then it became one every three games and one every game and then two every game. And all those things started to happen. But then I would go and I would have my own struggles. I'm only at the level I can be and you are as well. I would have my own struggles and I would essentially uh, go up against a guy who was bigger than me and start looking at, okay, how is he defending? How do I actually deal with my level while also aiming for where I want to be eventually? And that can keep you grounded into the reality of the moment and also where you want to go these are things that most people either have one of but not the other you either look at streamers only you don't look at your peers and you say oh i'll never be a streamer you don't think about where people are at your level uh and either some people look at people at their level they never look at what they could be and they stop improving and accelerating their game this is a great thing to do if you can game with friends who are your similar level this is a great way to keep tabs on how you're improving and the things that you all are working on and help each other to grow particularly uh, now the, the last tip, and this is a really important tip, maybe the most and the hardest tip, um, that I think most people get wrong. It's taking accountability for actions to be able to better yourself in the future. Taking accountability for your own actions is one of the hardest things to do in Apex Legends. And I think the reason is, uh, you sometimes don't know where your accountability ends. Like for instance, you know, somebody hits you across the map with a, a Kraber. Where's my accountability for that? You know, I, I just got shot. Sometimes it is a great play. But if you can look at life in this way, I believe you will find a lot of success in Apex Legends and out of it that maybe I contributed, maybe not in a big way, but maybe some part to what has happened. Now, it's really hard to talk about things like bigger issues like death and these, these wrongful things. But when you look at things like Apex Legends, you usually can find ways that maybe you would have gotten yourself in a bad situation. And it might not be that fight. It might have been five fights ago that you decided to respawn your teammate in a really hectic area and those same five teams are still chasing you and maybe you shouldn't have done it and just said hey buddy i don't think we can get you if we want to get top five and stay under the radar all these things allow you to a not only look at things you can improve even if they weren't really the problem but they also allow you to overall own your experience and not blame them because when you blame then you don't get better because you assume the responsibilities on someone else and you're waiting for that something else or someone else to help you to have a better situation and in this other scenario you're taking control of what you can do and your own accountability for your life and what you're trying to achieve and your level of progress towards it and so this is something that i always recommend to all the people who watch my videos thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed these tips leave a like share this with friends who you think might need it comment down below and of course never give up never stop gaming i'll see you all next time hey do me a favor if you like this check out my instagram it's below